When headlines like this, 400 earthquakes reported at Mount St. Helens catch the attention of people in the Pacific Northwest, it brings a lot of people back to 1980. Mount St. Helens erupted May 18th, 1980. 57 people were killed. It is the deadliest eruption in U.S. history. Back then, researchers did not have the technology and sensors they have now to measure earthquake activity, gas emissions, and thermal activity. We really do have a better sense of what's going on at the volcano. And I should say that so far, this has really just been a seismic sequence. A seismic sequence of more than 450 earthquakes. But Weston Thielen, research seismologist at Cascade Volcano Observatory, says it's not concerning. So what are we seeing now? We're seeing earthquakes that are occurring. They're small. They're mostly less than magnitude one. And they're happening fairly deep. So they're happening in a depth range that is two kilometers below the uh, below sea level. And researchers have seen these types of sequences before. Looking at sequences in the late 80s specifically that had went on for years like this, that had rates that were much higher than what we're seeing now. Scientists say there were longer periods of time with more earthquakes at Mount St. Helens, but none of these periods directly led to an eruption at the volcano. Until things uh, shallow up in terms of where where the volcano is deforming and the gas output gets significantly um, higher and the earthquake rates get significantly larger, we don't expect anything to happen um, uh, at the surface anytime soon. And scientists will continue to monitor the volcano's activity. The information released today was meant to educate people on what is going on, not meant to cause any alarm. Back to you.